taking this bad boy to the kitchen. The curse pre workout. Ooh. Before my bacon and eggs goes to burn, better uh, solve that. We have aeroplane jelly. Obviously, low sugar. Being on the keto diet, can't have sugar. So, what we're gonna do, spice things up a bit. Weather's getting hot. Uh, I want some jelly because I can, I feel like I can still eat a horse. So I chuck some jelly in just uh, as like a filler, but thought about making uh, this a bit more funky and putting some pre-workout in my jelly. Never done it before, so we're gonna see how that goes. So some, sometimes you can't add certain ingredients to jelly because it won't actually set. Now I'm gonna make a liter here, so what we're gonna do is put in two scoops per 250. There's four servings of pre-workout, essentially. I don't know if this is going to work, eh? Too much pre-workout. Ah. I don't know if this is going to work. Hopefully. So, this bad boy needs to go on the scales. So if this works successfully, we have four servings of the curse in the jelly. Hopefully it sets. If it's not, well, it's just a bit of extra flavor in the pre-workout, I guess, if it's still liquid. But hopefully it's going to be freezing cold. Uh, don't mind me and my sniffles. Bloody hay fever is going off tap. But bit of pre-workout, so per serve, per so 250 ml. So a cup of jelly is going to turn out to be about 400 milligram of caffeine with beta alanine, and yeah, that's going to be. Fun. Guess what time it is? Well, it's actually lunchtime. But as of yesterday, I put the, this bad boy, the curse, the pre-workout, in some jelly. Now we're going to go to the kitchen. We're going to suss that out. We grab a cup. We're gonna see how that's set. It actually set pretty good. Not gonna lie. I tried some this morning and it was off its noggin. Have a look at this. I think that we're actually going to start selling it at the gym because it is that amazing. Okay. Wow, on the camera it looks quite black. And uh I have to admit, in person, it's uh, still black, <laughs> but uh, it tastes freaking amazing. Okay, I'm, I'm missing, I'm missing a, uh, a spoon, so I'm, I'm using my fork here. So I think I worked out about that much right there. So let's call that a tablespoon. Every tablespoon has about a quarter of a coffee in it. Mhm. Mm <laughs> it actually tastes so good dangerously good actually so that right there is about three servings I gave one serving to Chris boxing trainer this morning and he was flying so three servings in there that would be 1200 milligram of caffeine so if I ate that, I'd be quite worried. Maybe call triple zero. Well, caffeine can't really do that to you, but I think it'd be pretty bad. Um, so if you don't know what milligrams are anyway in terms of caffeine, let's compare a coffee, which is about 80 milligram. Uh, so we're talking 12 plus servings of coffee or cups of coffee. All right, but that is it, guys. Simple jelly and pre-workout. Let's boogie.